Okay, hey guys, welcome back and thanks for continuing to watch on with the series. This is part two of routine maintenance. Uh, if you haven't caught uh, the first part of doing the oil change and especially the hydrostatic fluid change on a zero turn, uh, I'll include that in the end screens from this video. But guys, this is part two and we are going to be changing blades and doing a real good cleaning with a pressure washer underneath the mowing deck. So Okay guys, just so you know, I got the camera sitting up on top of that cinder block and you are in between the bottom of the bucket and the cinder block, so if I go down, you go with me. <laughs> all right guys, all we're gonna do is pop this off. This should come up pretty quick and easy. All right, there we go. Now one thing, that I want to show you guys, let me bring you in close, is you see this little lip right here. The hole on the blade is uh, bigger in diameter than this and that that's blade sets up around the sleeve and that's what gets it exactly centered. And you want to make absolutely sure you get that pulled all the way up on there before you uh, tighten down on your bolt. All right, so before I go back, I want to show you guys the difference between a <clears throat> new blade and an old one. As you can see, uh, look here how the edge is all worn. Of course, you can sharpen these. These are, these are by far not end of life, but you can see the difference in how sharp the blades are. So anyway, these are not that expensive, and for me, I think it's not a big deal just to put a new set on every I usually do them every year all right so let me put you guys back up in place here all right hope you can see all right and lip goes up cutting lady goes down <clears throat> another thing to show you guys is what I wonder if anybody's ever wondered what this right here is the tip up on, or the turn up on the end of the blade is for catching the grass and this is what throws the grass out. Uh, when you're mowing you see it shoot out the side, this little lip up is what makes that happen. Alright, now you can see how I went over that lip and it's locked into place. Now, lift this up. And then we'll go back on it. And that is all it is to it. One down, two to go. Obviously you can see what makes this job so easy is number one having the tractor to lift my zero turn up but also that big high torque Dewalt impact driver it just boom goes so fast anyway the new blades are on we're ready for the season but one thing I want to do is all this kind of stuff like this I want to get the pressure washer and I'm gonna get the turbo nozzle and I'm gonna get everything under my deck clean the reason two reasons for doing that number one is um, the grass as it dries and it'll hold moisture underneath your deck and it'll cause rusting to start. 
and number two with a deck all nice and fresh and clean as you're mowing all the grass cuttings they will just blow out easy and they won't uh, clog up and just come out in clumps so uh, I do this about twice a year it's a piece of cake with the pressure washer so uh, while I've got everything up and going we'll go ahead and do this and give the machine a really good cleanup and we'll be ready for the season